for my next guest, Janice Jenkins. It was a normal Wednesday morning in her third grade class in East Orange. I don't know what normal with third graders is, but it was a normal day. <laughs> she was just about to start her math lesson when one of her students, nine-year-old Robert, Ston Robert Joseph Stoniker, started choking on a bottle cap. now have people in her community calling her a hero. Please welcome Janice Jenkins to the show. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> welcome. Oh, my sweet. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Listen, you're... I need to touch your hands because they're so calm. <laughs> I mean, so you're in... You're, <laughs> your composure in that moment is what's so extraordinary. He's running up to you. He's motioning. <laughs> Look, I would have fainted. That's why I'm not a teacher. <laughs> you jumped in... When was the last time you'd done CPR prior to that? I haven't. You've never done it? No. I was just trained. <laughs> okay. So you were trained, I'm but you trained. never had to execute it. Never had to execute it until when, that day. Until that day. Mm -hmm. When Robert Joseph ran over to you, did you know? Because he, he's, his mouth is moving, but I would imagine... Nothing was coming out. Nothing was coming out. Nothing was coming out. He, he ran over, he's motioning, but no words were coming out. And then I just... I just acted on my training. Wow. So he's there, his mouth is moving, he's not saying anything, and then you turn him around, mm -hmm. and you just go into it. I do. I do. You always wonder, like, I, I, you get training. I remember when we had Moses, they took us to baby CPR, and I always think, yeah, it's fine to practice on a doll, but when you're in the moment and it's real, was your, were you terrified? Were you... So that's the funny thing. Like, in that moment, I wasn't terrified. I wasn't scared, thinking. I didn't think at all. I just saw that he was in distress, and I was like, okay, that's one of my babies, and I need to help him, so let me help him. I love it. <laughs> all right, up next, we're going to meet nine-year-old Robert Joseph, his dad, Robert, also. They're joining the TAM fam after the break. Miss Jenkins brought Robert on a field trip to visit the TAM fam while his dad, Robert, <laughs> joins us from work in New Jersey. Please welcome them both to the show. Hello. Hi. And there's dad at work. Hi, dad. Hi, daddy. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, daddy. Robert Joseph. Yes. What, like, okay, what were you doing with the bottle? I was what trying happened? to open it. You were trying to open it? Yes. And then when you tried to open it, the cap went down. Yes. Were you, did you know that, were you afraid? Yes. You, you're afraid. Do you remember running around the class? Yes. You do. As you can see. As I <laughs> <laughs> You know what? <laughs> you are a character. <laughs> Uh, Dad, Robert, your son is destined to be in TV, and thank God he survived the incident at school. He is a star. You got the call from your wife that something had happened? Yes. What did she say happened? She said that uh, somebody, or a knucklehead, uh, swallowed a bottle cap. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't realize how serious it was until you saw the video. And when you first saw the video, what did you think? I was kind of shocked because it was it was in my face. 
and I can also see his reaction to what was going on when he was coming towards Ms. Jenkins with his with his facial expressions. Well, that's the key because he's running around in the classroom and at first blush you think, okay, that's a third grader being mischievous. He's running around, but then when you see his eyes look at her, you see the Oh, I can see you're getting emotional. Because it, it's tough to think about the, what could have happened there, Robert. Yeah, yeah that's, that's basically what it was. Yeah, just, you know, someone was there to help him as, as quickly as possible. Ugh. Well, you know, I, I, we salute and cannot salute teachers enough. Um, as they say, you're a teacher, you end up being the counselor, the mom, the friend, all of that in one day. I do also know that as a teacher, you appreciate a good book, right? Like, I, I have the perfect summer read for Miss Jenkins. Robert, I'm gonna turn this the right way. I saw you judging me. You, by the way, your son wants to host my talk show. <laughs> and I don't know if you saw his hair, but my glam yes. squad did his hair today. <laughs> so he's been TikToking in the commercial break and all kinds of things. Now I cannot imagine being in a room full of third graders. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I have this read for you. It's Tommy's Folly. It tells the story, a history-making story of the Congress Hall, America's oldest seaside resort in beautiful Cape May, New Jersey. Now, <clears throat> I would like to give you the assignment today. I would like a book report, to be exact, because Ms. Jenkins, after dealing with those third graders mm -hmm. and saving one adorable life, mm -hmm. I have an assignment for you. Can you please relax and rest? Because you are a guest on a four-night getaway <laughs> to Congress Hall. The iconic resort is nestled in the landscape grounds from the famed historic district. You can soak up the sun, take in the local Victorian charm, enjoy daily breakfast at the Blue Peak Tavern, lunch at the Rusty Nail, at the Beach Shack, an elegant dinner at the award-winning Ebbett Room at the Virginia. It's a seaside getaway. We're Am really... I going with her? No. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it's a seaside vacation worth 